Um, yeah, preparation has gone really well. Last week was sort of my last really, really tough week with um, high volume of judo. Um, so this week, you know, a little bit less judo, but still just trying to hit the intensity and make sure that I'm sharp in come two weeks. Um, I think that this is kind of the, I don't know, in a 100 meter sprint, it's like, it's like the last five meters, isn't it? You just gotta go for the extra push and make that dip over the line. I think you just gotta think that you've, you, you know, you've worked so hard for two years, you know, these last two weeks leading up to it, just do everything you can to be in the best shape possible that you can and whatever happens on the day happens. Um, so us four girls, we've got a WhatsApp group and um, we've just been like <laughs> talking about whether we're going to take two bags or three bags <laughs> and just kind of really getting excited about it now because sort of the, the hard work's done, you know, the, the, the tears, kind of that bit should be over and done with now. This is the, not the easy bit, but this is the bit where we can just practice on being sharp, feeling our best every day leading up to, to when we fight. So I think this is the time to get really excited and I think we're, we're really good at sort of building the excitement amongst each other and stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll be there to support each other too. But you know, everyone's got their own day and it'll be all about that person on their day. Yeah, it was, um, it was obviously new to me. I'd never been in a full-time setup before. And um, um, it was, it was quite strange because I, I came in just off the back of the, my juniors. So I didn't know whether coming to the full-time centre, whether that would, would push me on to then qualify for Rio and then Tokyo. Or, I wasn't really sure where it would go, but I think sort of, you know, it's worked. At the end of the day, I'm here where I am now. I'm going to the Olympics and I just think um, everything that we've got here is just everything I needed, the stability, the support, the physio support, the S&C support, and obviously all the variety of coaches on the mat as well. I think it's everything, everything I needed really to qualify for the Olympics. And for me, the main thing is the quality of players to train with every day. I think that's obviously really hard to come by, especially in our country where there isn't a massive amount of people doing judo and it's really important that you can train with the, for me, with the best girls every day because that's how you get better. Yeah, I think everyone is so excited um, and obviously everyone's wishing me well and it, it's nice for those who've been able to see my journey from start to finish and I know that they'll be really wanting me to do well at the Olympics um, and I know that i kind of done everyone proud and yeah, I think everyone's going to be, those who can't make it will be sat around the TV all together watching it and uh, I'll probably be able to hear them from Rio.